When I got into aerial robotics, it was 1998. I love working in a field where I feel like I'm contributing to society. My name is Rob Marnie. I'm a professor at the Australian National University. And so what I'm doing is I'm actually acting standard symmetry on P. I work with geometry and I work with symmetry and I'm really trying to apply the mathematical theory of symmetry to physical systems, to robotic systems. You act on pose. What I love about these problems is that you can do quite sophisticated mathematics and interesting control problems, and you can, you can actually do that for problems that matter, for systems that actually go out into society and make a difference. There were algorithms that worked, but they really required military-grade electronics, and there was nothing that worked reliably with consumer-grade electronics. And so we found this symmetry, this Lee group, the special orthogonal group, and reformulated the filter on that group and gained a huge amount of robustness and eventually we actually got a filter that, that worked. It was picked up by all of the major drone companies of the era, so from 2005, 2008, all of those initial consumer drones were flying that filter. There's huge advances in society that have come out of the drone industry. We're there, so we I'm working at the moment on a project in bushfire detection, so where we're flying drones over the Brindabella Mountains at night after lightning storms and looking for ignitions. You're 10 degrees to the right. What you wouldn't want to do with a crewed aircraft, quite low, so a very dangerous flight for a crewed aircraft, but quite safe for a drone. But I'm also working on submersible vehicles. I'm interested in the same transformation in submersible vehicles. So you, you have submersible vehicles available at the moment, but they're very expensive. They're run by specialist firms. They require very expensive sensor units. And so I'm researching at the moment into consumer grade localization, state estimation, communication systems to try and create the same capability in underwater vehicles as we've seen over the last 20 years in aerial vehicles. I work right from the very fundamental theory, but it's very important that I'm also trying to put algorithms and understanding how these things work on real systems. And seeing the real system, you know, when it, when it fails is when you learn the most. Really, it's been a life goal to become an Academy Fellow. I will certainly engage in the Academy and there's, there's a number of projects that I'd like to do to start supporting the next generation and, and looking at technology transfer in Australia. But at heart, I'm a researcher. That's what I do.